Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how to put a rotating vector into Desmos. Now, if you look at the screen there, you can see I've got a rotating vector with center AB. So if I just put this to near the origin, there you go. Center AB, actually let's just make it the origin. There you go, so it's right at the right at the origin and I can move it around left or right by changing my sliders A and B. I can also change the radius, you know, the length of my vector by increasing R, which I've called the radius. Okay, so that's great. And uh, how would you go about this? Well, you need a, we need an angle to be constantly changing. So I've called my angle T. And uh, you make a little table with initial point, initial coordinates, A, B, which I've set up, up there. And uh, final points, C, D. So C is the X coordinate. And that's going to be cos T times R, the magnitude, and plus A, whatever I set me in. Uh, origin to and the y coordinate is going to be r sine t plus b it's as simple as that so i'll leave that on the screen now why would i want to put something like this on desmos well i think it's quite good for in a level physics we start doing circular motion and i think it's a lovely way to demonstrate how the tangential velocity is linked to the angular velocity. Now you can see there when I make the radius small, uh, the angular velocity is always the same, but the tangential velocity is quite slow. And if I increase the radius, you can see the outside's moving much faster now. And that gives you a real good visual sense of uh, the formula V equals omega R or tangential velocity equals the angular velocity you know, in radians per second times the radius. Okay, so there you go. A rotating vector with the origin anywhere you choose.